Hello, my dear students. In the previous video, we have understood about three states of matter and its properties. Today, let us understand more about these three states of matter. In case of solid state, we have understood that in solids, they have fixed shape and they are rigid, right? And they have less compressibility and the diffusion rate is also low. And we have even understood that it has high density and uh, we have understood that it is having less interparticular space, IPS, and strong force of attraction between the particles. But there are some solids which stand as an exception. Let us try to understand a little about them. What are these? By looking at the image, you can guess that these are nothing but rubber bands, right? These rubber bands, are there solids or not? Yes, you have guessed it, right? It's a solid. If it is a solid, why it changes its shape? We have understood that solids have fixed shape. But on applying pressure, I can expand the rubber band, right? How could it change its shape? Rubber band changes its shape when force is applied, but regains its shape once the force is removed. That's because of the property of elasticity. The reason behind this is elasticity. Elasticity property makes rubber band to expand when the force is applied and regains the shape once the force is released. Got it? So, in case of rubber band, the reason behind though it is solid, it can change its shape because of elasticity. Okay? Elasticity is a property where it can expand. Okay? A little bit. But when excess of force is applied, it will definitely lose the property of elasticity and it will break. Okay? Or it will be rubber band will be torn away and turn. Okay, so this is regarding rubber band. Though it is solid, it can change your shape. It's an exception we can tell. What is this? Sugar, right? This sugar or even salt, when put in jars of different shape, it gives the shape of the jar, right? But it is solid. Solids must have fixed shape. It should not take the shape of the container. But sugar and salt does. Can you think over it? The reason is, if you take individual sugar or salt crystal, its shape remains the same. It's having constant shape. Sugar and salt takes the shape of the jar in which it is kept. But shape of each individual sugar or, or salt crystal, it should be or, remain fixed. Got it? So, these are two solids which can change their shape. The rubber, can, rubber band can change their shape. Whereas salt or sugar will have definite individual crystal shape will be retained. Now, what is this? This is sponge, right? Is this sponge a solid? Yes, your answer is correct. It is solid. If it is solid on pressing, why does it shape change its shape? The reason is why is it compressible? I can actually solids are those, for example, this book. Solids are those which I can't compress, right? Compressibility is not possible, negligible compressibility. Whereas this sponge I can compress. The reason is in case of sponge, there are holes. Right, these minute holes will be having air in it. When I compress, air will be expelled out. Hence, it gets compressed. Okay, so when we release, again air gets filled up in those holes. So those sponges solid, we can compress it because holes will be there, and those holes are filled with. Air, which expels out when it is compressed. So these are three types of solids which you should know which will be having 
slightly different property as mentioned about solid state. But that does not mean they are not solids. They are solids. Now, next, coming to the liquid state. In case of liquid state, we have understood that liquids have definite volume, but the shape is not fixed. It gains the shape of the container in which it is kept. Liquid is having ability to flow and liquids have diffusion rate, high diffusion rate. Yesterday I have shown how we in the container having water, when the food color is added, it has diffused. Food color was a solid, right? Diffusion was happening. And obviously we have discussed the, in the previous video that um, when uh, air uh, is dissolved in water, that means it is diffused. So related to that is this image, aquatic animal, aquatic fish, fighter fish actually. So this fighter fish or any other aquatic animals lives inside water, right? So if the animal is living inside water, it need air to breathe. How do they breathe? They breathe dissolved oxygen. It's because of oxygen that is diffused in the water. Aquatic animals can breathe underwater due to presence of dissolved oxygen in water because solids, liquids and gases can diffuse into liquid. Idhanna one mark question kelpahudu. Which property of liquid is enabling aquatic animals to breathe in the, in the water or live comfortably in the water? That's because dissolved oxygen or solids, liquids and gases can diffuse in liquids. Okay, shall I go to the next slide? It's important, few things. Gases are highly compressible as compared to solids and liquids. We have discussed about gases that they are highly compressible and they have less force of attraction between the particles. They have large IPS, intraparticular space. They are highly compressible as compared to solids and liquids, right? So this high compressibility enable them to compress and fill it in cylinders so as to make its transportation easier. For example, you have heard about LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. In case of liquefied petroleum gas, which we use in our kitchens, it is filled in the cylinders after compression. Okay, so after compression, when it is filled, it becomes easy for people to carry or transport that LPG. Okay, compressed natural gas, CNG, which is used as vehicular fuel. Okay, it's used for vehicles, especially many autos run by CNG. Even um, um, cars will also run by CNG. So this CNG is also compressed as the gas, oxygen cylinders, which are widely used in hospitals. And even divers, when they go deep into the sea, they carry oxygen cylinder. Even the mountaineers who uh, climb up the mountain for greater tops, they carry oxygen cylinder because underwater also oxygen con content will not be present. Dissolved oxygen will be there, not the gaseous oxygen. And uh, even in the top of the mountain, oxygen percentage comes on, uh, will be less, comparatively less, based on the surface of the earth, right? And of course, they carry oxygen cylinders. It will be possible because gases are highly compressible, which makes them easy to transport. So this is gas, CNG, LPG, which uh, I have not shown any cylinder here, but the um, I have shown the star LPG star, and this is oxygen cylinders. Divers are using it, oxygen cylinders. Okay, so this indicates that gases are highly compressible, which makes them compress in cylinders and easy to transport. Idrali, e concepts ali, e particular slide ali, one mark question expand Kerbahudu, expand LPG, expand CNG. You should remember them, okay? So, gases diffuse very fast. 
ನಿನ್ನೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಟಿಕ್ ಲಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಟಿಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇವೆನ್ ದೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಾಟ್ hot food smell reaches farthest hot then the smell will be much more faster traveling of the travel of the smell will be much more faster yake nodana iva so why let's see they have high speed of particles particles high speed alli irutte enakandre interparticular space so jaasti ide force of attraction kadme ide they have large space between them high speed irode enakke andre force of attraction kadme ide and idralli innondu helod matte hot food do hot food do enakke smell jaasti fast age travel agutte anta telkobeku okay so here a kettle is there in which chai or something some food might be cooked ಓಕೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಆ ಚಾಯ್ ದ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಟೀ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫೆಲ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ 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 ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫುಡ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ we need to go nearer to the cold food yake anta kelbodu reasoning type alli one mark question no enakandre particles of aroma mix with air particle of aroma mix with air one mark ge reasoning keltar aroma means smell aroma means smell okay so is smell irattala particles particles that carry the smell that will mix with air rapid and fast to mix agutte and it's in gaseous form gaseous form alli diffusion jaasti anta just discuss madidvi it is in the gaseous form right next as food is hot particles have greater kinetic energy idu thumba 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 important point to they have greater kinetic energy ಯಾವಾಗ ನಾವು ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವೋ ಅದರ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿನು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದಾಗ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಒಂದು ವಸ್ತು ಎನಿ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫುಡ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಹಾಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ but it so this is very important concept or reasoning typically will be asked next let's go for further concept interconversion of states of matter can we convert one state of matter to another for example solid to liquid liquid to gas to understand this from our daily life can you give one example of one material which exists in all three states of matter hope you have guessed it yes correct guys that is water water can exist as solid as ice it can exist as liquid normal water okay it can exist as gas as water vapor right so water exists in all three states of matter solid as ice ice you can see ice cubes liquid as water water you can see that splashing from the natural water source gas as water vapor here you can see again i have kept a kettle from which the water vapor is coming out how the right so ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಮೂರು ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗೇನೆ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರೂ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ರೂಮ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಟ್ ರೂಮ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಈ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಮೂರು ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಈವೆನ್ ಐರನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಫೈಡ್ 
got it it can be done but it require very 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 high temperature for the conversion pur purpose but idrinda vandartaitu i can convert one state of matter to another that can be done by two ways one by supplying temperature or by reducing temperature okay second one by changing the pressure either you increase pressure or you decrease pressure state of matter can be converted okay na so adra bagge kalyana effect of change of temperature temperature change hegagutte nodana for example illiro ice na nanu heat madidre temperature increase madidre definitely it gets converted to what ice gets converted to water right water na further heat madide andre it gets converted to vapor here i need to heat h anta barittene right ee vapor inda matte nan water maadabahuda can i do it yes i need to just cool it c anta barittene and water to ice yes i can do it by cooling so this interconversion is definitely possible but i have to change the temperature or pressure okay now let's go further how the interconversion happens effect of change of temperature temperature change madidre en agutte anta so ill on activity they take 150 gram of ice in a beaker and suspend a laboratory thermometer so that its bulb is in contact with the ice as shown in figure in chitra dal torsirutana ice anna tagobeku and bowl sorry one beaker alli adralli i need to dip the thermometer so that the bulb is in touch with the ice then i should start heating at low flame i should not increase the flame i should do the activity in a medium flame low flame then i should note the temperature as soon as i turn on the uh, knob of the burner then i should also note the temperature when complete melting of ice happens okay record your observation for this conversion of solid to liquid state yav temperature alli ice to water agi ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ನೋ ಇದನ್ನ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಲಿಂಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಅಮೃತ ಓ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ಸ್ ಅಮೃತ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಅಮೃತ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀಠ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಚ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ಸ್ available to those students and those learners where physical lab setup is not present okay so thanking them keeping them their work in mind let's go to this video link which explains about how ice can be converted to what just a minute yeah here melting point of ice melting point of ice we require ice cube beaker thermometer stirrer a stand with a clamp wire gauze tripod stand and a bunsen burner please look at the materials used by them it's as same given in the activity mentioned in your textbook take the ice cubes in the beaker Place the beaker on a wire gauze, keep it over a tripod stand, and insert a stirrer into the beaker. Take a thermometer and suspend it with the help. A stirrer can be a glass rod also. For clamp stand, 
so that its bulb remains in the middle of the gas tube. Heat the gas tube in a moderate temperature using a Bunsen burner and stir continuously to keep a uniform temperature throughout. Note the temperature C1. When the ice starts melting, continue heating the ice. Note the temperature C2. When the ice is completely melted, water. The average of the two temperatures gives the melting point of ice. The melting point of ice is 0 degrees Celsius. Okay. This is really the final uh, uh, temperature. No dare, complete melt. Amele melting start at the glutta conditor, zero to zero degree Celsius. And the ice out temperature and melt agate, ice starts melting at zero degree Celsius. So we can tell that melting point of ice is zero degree. So now thanking Amrita Olaps for the beautiful video. Let's discuss about this melting point. Any the melting point to process na discuss modern. Conversion of ice to water. Whenever we want to convert solid to liquid by changing the temperature, we need to supply heat. We need to supply energy to break the uh, force of attraction between the particles. In a kind of solid deli now no did be particles straight away arrange agarate force of attraction just there at the other liquid only particles are loosely arranged and force of attraction is less. So solid in a liquid convert mad back on the force of attraction and in mad back of cut mad back. So we need to convert ice to water. That means I need to supply some energy to cut that force of attraction. As temperature of solid is increased, kinetic energy of the particle will also increase. Temperature non increase matta bandaga, ice and heat matta bandaga, kinetic energy increase agatha. Kinetic energy increase agatha, particle movement in agatha. They become faster. Previous slide I discussed madi, the hot food, the smell, bigger reach agatha. In a kind of kinetic energy just the faster move agakshur agatha. So, Illunoste kinetic energy of the particle increases as the temperature increases. This makes particles vibrate with greater speed. Greater speed only particles vibrate away. Solid deli there. So complete again when the escape of Gurgada Virakagala. Alle vibrate agatha. When the heat energy supplied is used to overcome the forces of attraction between the particles. Nani heat energy supply martaidini that is used to overcome the forces of attraction between the particles. Particles tight agi arrange agaratala, isali. Other than particles na force of attraction and a cut mada the ke non supply martiro heat energy use of the hogut. Okay, na? next term. A point yawaga complete solid to liquid agi convertagato that temperature is called as melting point. Melting point is the temperature at which the a solid melts to become liquid at atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure really solid to liquid convert ago temperature in a melting point and the health. Got it. So this melting point for particularly ice is. In terms of Kelvin, it is 273.16 Kelvin. At one and a simple laggy, I can tell it as 273 Kelvin. 0.6 nanano, 273 Kelvin, which is also equal to 0 degree Celsius. It's also equal to 0 degree Celsius. Got, got it? So, Celsius only mentioned maad vay 0 degree Celsius. So, Kelvin al mentioned maad vay it is 273 Kelvin. It's a melting point of ice. Haga three process na yin anta karitare. Converting solid to liquid. That process is called as fusion. That process is called as fusion. The process of conversion of solid to liquid is called as fusion. Melting, and then no general language, solid melt, a liquid icon. 
But a process, a particular process, a fusion, not a tariff. Got it, children? So, even to now, in Tilkonvendre, Kelvando solids are the exceptions, Tilkonve, but the properties of liquids, so the gases do a little application daily life only. Aquatic animals, their bodu atwa cylinders, their bodu that we have understood and we have even understood about interconversion of states of matter. Especially, we have understood today about how to convert solid into liquid. We have understood about melting point and its definition. We have understood about fusion. We have even understood about what's the melting point of the ice. Okay, so that's all for today. I'll come with another video for continued discussion of this particular chapter. Thank you. Thank you for patience listening. Please. As I always say, subscribe my channel, keep watching my videos and do share with your friends because it is knowledge sharing session. Thank you. Thank you again.